Did you know the United States produces over 824 million pounds of mushrooms every year? That's an enormous amount of fungi making their way from the farm to your dinner table. But what exactly goes into ensuring these mushrooms make it from farm to fork, fresh and delicious? Welcome to Infinite Farming. In today's video, we're taking you on a journey through the entire mushroom farming process. From the first steps of preparing the growing medium to the cutting-edge technologies that harvest, sort, and package these mushrooms, you'll be amazed by the blend of tradition and innovation behind this incredible food production. Let's dive in and explore how America produces some of the world's most delicious mushrooms. Mushroom farming starts with the preparation of the growing medium, which acts as the foundation for healthy mushroom growth. While it may seem simple, the growing medium is a carefully crafted mixture that must provide the right balance of nutrients for the mushrooms to thrive. The ingredients include straw, hay, chicken manure, and gypsum, or lime, which help balance the pH levels. Each of these ingredients plays a key role in ensuring that mushrooms have everything they need to grow. To start the process, the straw and hay are soaked in water, which softens them and makes it easier for microorganisms to break them down. This soaking process is essential because it encourages microbial activity that will break down the organic matter. Once the straw and hay have softened, they're mixed with chicken manure, a rich source of nitrogen, which is a crucial nutrient for mushrooms. Once this mix is ready, it's transferred into composting chambers where the magic happens. The composting process involves the decomposition of the organic materials, and this stage is where things get really precise. It's important to control the temperature, humidity, and airflow to ensure optimal conditions for the microorganisms to do their job. The result is a nutrient-rich growing medium that will support the healthy growth of mushrooms. Once composted, the growing medium is moved to the growing area, where it's spread across trays or racks. This is done using conveyor systems and automated machinery ensuring that the medium is evenly distributed across the growing surface. The level of consistency is crucial here. Even a slight imbalance can lead to uneven mushroom growth, so precision is key in every step. Once the growing medium is ready, it's time for inoculation, which is the process of introducing mushroom spores to the growing medium. The spores will eventually develop into mycelium, the underground root system of the mushroom, which spreads through the growing medium. This is the foundation of mushroom growth and where things get really exciting. Over the course of two to three weeks, the mushrooms start to grow in carefully controlled conditions. This period is one of the most critical in the entire process. To ensure that the mushrooms grow to perfection, the temperature, humidity, and oxygen levels must be strictly monitored. A change in any of these factors could result in poor quality mushrooms or even crop failure. Mushrooms thrive in an environment with a temperature range of 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity levels near 90%. During this time, the mycelium spreads throughout the growing medium, eventually producing tiny mushroom pinheads. These pinheads will slowly grow into mature mushrooms, with caps ranging from 2.5 cm to 12 cm in diameter, depending on the variety. While the mushrooms are growing, the farm's workers or automated systems must maintain careful control over the growing conditions. If the environment isn't perfect, the mushrooms may grow too slowly, become misshapen, or fail to develop the desired flavor and texture. When they reach the perfect size, they're ready to be harvested, but the next step the harvesting process is just as crucial to ensuring high-quality mushrooms. Mushroom harvesting isn't as simple as picking them off the ground. In fact, harvesting mushrooms is a very delicate process that requires attention to detail. Different methods are used depending on the scale of the farm, the technology available, and the type of mushrooms being cultivated. On large-scale farms, machine harvesting is the most common method. Specialized machines are used to cut the stems of the mushrooms at the base. These machines are designed with sharp blades to trim the stems precisely, ensuring that the caps and stems stay intact and undamaged.
Once the mushrooms are cut, they are transferred to a conveyor belt that moves them to a sorting area. In the sorting area, advanced sensors are used to assess each mushroom based on size, shape, and quality. Mushrooms that meet the standards are sent to the packaging area, while those that don't pass the quality check are discarded. This method greatly enhances efficiency and minimizes the risk of errors, especially when compared to manual harvesting. In addition to machine harvesting, robotic technology is also being used in some farms. These robots use flexible robotic arms to gently pick each mushroom, carefully lifting it from the growing medium without damaging the caps or stems. After picking, the robots trim the roots and immediately sort the mushrooms based on size and quality, ensuring consistency and quality with every harvest. This technology allows farms to increase their productivity and reduce labor costs, all while maintaining high standards. Even with all the advancements in automation, Hand harvesting is still essential for many mushroom varieties, particularly delicate ones. Oyster mushrooms and other fragile varieties require special care, which is why many smaller farms rely on human labor for harvesting. Workers use specialized tools to carefully pick each mushroom from the growing medium, ensuring the mushrooms aren't damaged. Hand harvesting has the advantage of personalized attention. Workers can visually inspect each mushroom to ensure that only the best are selected. They can discard any mushrooms that show signs of blemishes, pests, or overripeness, which ensures that only top quality mushrooms make it to market. Another benefit of hand harvesting is its adaptability. Workers can adjust their approach depending on the variety of mushrooms they are harvesting. For example, shiitake mushrooms are sturdier and can be handled more confidently, while more delicate mushrooms like oysters require extra care to prevent breakage. Despite the labor-intensive nature of hand harvesting, this method ensures that every mushroom is handled with precision and care. Once the mushrooms are harvested, they must be sorted and packaged quickly to ensure that they stay fresh. In large-scale operations, automated sorting systems are used to quickly assess each mushroom's size, shape, and quality. The mushrooms that meet the necessary standards are sent to the packaging area, where they are weighed and packed into boxes. These boxes are then labeled with the product name, production date, and expiration date, so consumers can trust the quality of what they're buying. In addition to fresh mushrooms, some farms also process mushrooms to extend their shelf life. For canned mushrooms, the process is slightly different. After harvesting, the mushrooms are sliced, washed thoroughly, and sterilized before being packed into cans or glass jars. This helps preserve the mushrooms for longer periods and ensures that consumers can enjoy them year-round, even if they're out of season.
Mushrooms aren't just an important food source, they also have a significant economic and cultural impact. The U.S. mushroom industry contributes billions of dollars to the economy every year, creating thousands of jobs in farms, processing plants, and distribution networks. In fact, with annual production totaling over 8.8 .8 billion pounds, mushrooms are one of the most important agricultural products in the U.S. In American cuisine, mushrooms are valued for their versatility. They're used in a wide range of dishes, from salads and pizzas to vegetarian and vegan recipes that showcase their rich, umami flavor. Mushrooms are also a staple in many international cuisines, adding depth and flavor to a variety of traditional dishes. Beyond food, mushrooms are also used in medical research and biotechnology. For example, certain types of mushrooms are known for their antioxidant properties and potential benefits to the immune system. They're also studied for their ability to degrade pollutants in the environment, which has important applications for environmental sustainability. The journey of a mushroom, from the farm to your dinner plate, is a fascinating tale of innovation, precision, and hard work. The combination of traditional farming practices and modern technology ensures that mushrooms meet the highest standards of quality, freshness, and flavor. Behind every mushroom is a story of dedication, and whether it's the care of workers or the precision of machines, the final result is a product that's not just delicious, but also contributes to a sustainable and thriving agricultural industry. If you enjoyed learning about the journey of mushrooms and want to discover more amazing stories from the world of agriculture, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Infinite Farming. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video, where we'll uncover even more incredible stories from Mother Earth.